So when you turn it on, this is what you get after it does its load up with splash screen. Uh, this is a new thing that wasn't on here before because I have the synthetic vision. Push the knob, just click it in, and it's going to go away. So to turn it on, just push this button here, the synthetic vision soft key, and you get this screen here. This is actually green. I just guess it shows up differently in the camera. But you can see a 3D representation of the mountains right here in front of me. And there they are. I really appreciate that guy parking his car there. So you get a full screen here. It's on the entire display. If you select this field of view, this is field of view two. And field of view one, you can actually see the runway right there. Field of view two actually backs up a little bit. So this line right here is the runway relative to my position. Like if I'm taking off, it'll show the runway numbers right here on the screen. It's like a, like a graphic image of the runway. So you get those two field of views up close and then far out. Uh, it's in the nest of first display. So you hit the synthetic vision soft key again. And all what that does is it just turns this top, top one on and it turns off this bottom half. And you still get the same field of views. There's the runway. And there's the runway. What's cool is down here on the arc, it shows what that field of view is. So this is how wide it's looking to these headings. It's displaying on there. If you hit it again, you'll see it changed to a wider field of view because I'm zoomed out. When I zoom back in, the runway shows up closer and then this gets tighter. So if I go to Synthetic Vision 3, this is like a overhead shot of the elevation in front of me. I'm on the ground, so a lot of this is red. But it also shows obstacles, which I really like. Um, and again, if I push field of view two, it's just going to show a wider thing, but that's more for up here. And that's three, and then, but there's synthetic vision off, synthetic vision on. This one's pretty cool. Um, it does everything else still displays. It just changes a little bit here instead of the full line across. It puts a little bit more of the information down here and displays. That's the synthetic vision. It is really cool. This upgrade was a pain in the butt to get. That's one thing I've been wanting for a long time for this display and I finally got it. And I'll show you a video here of what it looks like from the air with my overhead camera. It's not the best video, but I wasn't able to unhook my phone while I was flying because it was playing the music and I didn't want to stop the music. So, hope you enjoyed this short video of Synthetic Vision. Uh, I'll make a follow up soon with more details of what it does in display. But this is just a brief overview.